In this video, we'll be looking at how to read lines of text from a file using Stream Reader and print the lines with the line number. So the first thing that we want to do is actually to create the text file. So I'm going to right click in the same folder of the same project uh, and choose to create a new file. I'm going to call my file test.txt. So now the file is open for me and I'm just going to put in some content. So I've just written a couple of lines, assuming that these are valid lines and I'm going to close it. So then what we want to do is we will create a variable to hold that file name. I think it's always good to put it in a, in a variable in case you need to use the file name for multiple places like opening the file for writing or for reading. Then what we want to do is create a stream reader object, passing the file name as an argument to its constructor. Let's do that. So the data type is stream reader and my object I would call read from file. I know it's quite long, but I want it to be explanatory. And the argument that's going to go here would be the file name. If this is the only time that you refer to the file name, it would be okay actually to do this. I'll leave it to you to decide. But uh, keep in mind to access the stream reader class, we actually need to include the system.io namespace at the start of the program. So let's go ahead and do that. That's it, we're good now. All right, I'm just going to compile this and make sure that I haven't got any major issues so far. So it's looking good. Uh, we have no output because we haven't done anything yet. Next, let's declare a string variable to store the line in, the line that we are going to read from the file. So each one of these will just go or will be read into, a, into the same variable called line. Now, initially, we'll just use that line to print out the line on screen. That's all we want to do. Next, we want to declare a variable to store the line number. Let's do this later for now. Let's just go on and, and come back to this. Now, let's read each line from file using the while loop. So we'll go while. And then what we want to do is we want to check that the line that we read from the file. So using this object that's associated with the file, we will access the read line method. And while, while the line that we read is not equal to null, so this whole condition is not equal to null, that's how we know that we, sorry, are not equal to null. We know we haven't reached the end of the file and that there is actually content in the file. Now what we want to do is let's just um, print out that line. Just print out a line for now. And an important thing that we must do is to actually close the file using the close method. Let's uh, save first, save the file and run it again. All right, so luckily we don't have any errors. So what it basically did was it read the content from the file and displayed them to screen using console.writeline. So the content is coming from the file using the read line method. So it's reading one line at a time, placing the line in the string variable line and when it reached to null, meaning this end of the file or there's no more content in the file, then it stepped out of the while loop and then it closed it. While we were in the while loop, we were printing that variable. So the content, the content of the variable changes at each round. So the, uh, at the end, at this point, when we step out of the while loop, that this variable line will have the value of the last line only. Okay, now let's do one more thing. We said we want to print the line numbers with it. So just assuming that you would like to concatenate the line number to each 
line, we can declare a variable to store the line number. That's going to be an integer. An integer. So I'm going to call this current line so we can refer back to this. Initially, I'm going to start it off with zero, but it's important that we increment this before we do anything because we want it to start from one. So you can initialize this to one and then print out that line number and then increment after the, sorry, I don't know what I did. Okay, there we go. So we just sort of swap the orders depending if we made that one, you want to print first, then increment. I made it zero, so I incremented first and then I'm printing it out. So here I can display that line number. So I might want to just give some details like this line um, plus that current line. So it will sort of give me a number. And then plus a colon space. And just using concatenation basically. Let's save, run it again. And so now what we have is we have line one, line two, line three, line four, and the content of the lines. So whatever that content would be, it will just display uh, along that line number coming from this text and from this integer value. So that's about it. I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned to learn how we can catch exceptions in case this file doesn't exist.